All right, so I thought I'd explain a little bit of my method here on how I animate the doors. And uh, I go about it pretty much the same way I go about all of my animations. <clears throat> so you'll see here I've gone ahead and added an empty, and I'm now moving it to the location of my hinges for the door. I jump into wireframe so that I can better line up right on the center of that hinge joint. I try my best to remember to keep my uh, objects and empties all labeled. It just makes things a little bit easier, uh, especially as you get more and more things built up and, and things just get more complicated it helps out to have things clearly labeled so I've got that empty there for the uh, door hinge itself and I also um, will be adding one for the handle so here I've selected that door and I've parented it to that uh, initial empty and now here I've added a, another empty and I'm going to move that back so that we can animate the handle and uh, you'll see how I go about making the animation work so the handle needs to be open before the door itself will actually open So there, I, I went into the, my uh, handle piece real quick and, and grabbed that round section and snapped the cursor to that section. And then I uh, snapped my empty to that, to the cursor, and that then uh, makes sure that I'm rotating right around that exact uh, axis that I wanted the handle to rotate around. So I then, so the handle empty gets parented to the main door hinge empty uh, so that the handle, because the handle itself gets parented to that handle empty and, and uh, so by parenting the door handle empty to the main door empty, everything swings when the door is opened and closed. So here I'm now adding a data ref, and uh, so I searched for uh, door uh, underscore open, and uh, so I'll be using this. Now the the door um, <clears throat> the door open data ref uses uh, index number and. For this rear door here, uh, it will be an index number of two, and the reason for that is because my front uh, left is zero, so my front right is one, and so then this uh, rear door is uh, two, and that's, you can put them in whatever order you want, that's just uh, the numbering order that I chose to go in. So now I'm adding my keyframes to our hinge empty and uh, I've got the closed keyframe and now here I'm rotating to the open position and I'm setting the keyframe for that as well and you'll notice that our handle along with the handle empty have rotated along because they're parented to that door hinge So then down on your right hand side, we're going to add our values for the uh, door being open and closed. So 
So right here you actually see me rotate it back to the closed position and I add one more um, keyframe in the closed position and now I go to the open position and add that keyframe. And the reason for that is so I set these keyframes up at uh, a value of zero, the door is closed, and at a value of 0.1, the door is closed, and at a value of 1, the door is open. And that is so that we can animate our hand, <coughs> excuse me, our handle. So the handle then, at a value of 0, is in the closed position and at a value of 0.1 the handle rotates to the opening of the door position and so we get a zero so the, the handle looks closed and then 0.1 and we leave that 0.1 um, rotation for when the, the uh, door is all the way open as well so we're using that same data ref with the index of 2 and then we're going to do our value of 0 when the door is closed and then at our next keyframe here we're going to do a value of 0.1 and then when the door is fully open we still we do our value of 1 this way the door won't actually begin to move until the handle is fully in its open position. So now that we have it working on that section, we're going to select both of those empties. We're going to Shift D to duplicate them. Press M to move them to another layer. And we're going to move them to the layer where I have the inside of the doors. And now the majority of the work is done and we just need to parent things. So I grab the main door here and I actually real quick um, you'll see that I join all of those pieces so that it's one piece there's no need for all of those pieces to be separate anymore. And so I uh, selected all them and, and joined them together real quick. Of course, except for that handle, which still needs to be able to rotate. So now, I'm grabbing a hold of this handle real quick. And because my empty has already been, been animated, I'm going to rotate this handle to the position which it should be in, in the closed position, because I modeled it in the uh, in kind of a neutral position. And so I'm going to rotate it to the closed position before I parent it to the empty. So now that I've got it rotated to that position, I can now shift and select the handle empty and control P to parent that object. I can also select the door panel and shift select the hinge empty and parent that. And now everything should move. So the handle moves on that point one and then the door opens. So here watching that I decided that uh, I didn't feel the inside handle moved far enough and so I uh, jumped into that real quick and its open position I just uh, changed here to rotate a little bit farther. I just felt that it uh, looked better if it uh, rotated farther. And so I just did a quick change to that um, right there. So then uh, jumping over to our windows, because they uh, are on a separate object as well, they also need to be animated to follow the doors. And so that's what you see me doing here. I've duplicated the hinge um, empty. And then I grab that piece of window and I shift select the hinge empty. And I 
control P to parent it. And it's as simple as that. That window is now uh, set up and animated to move with the door. So now here you'll see I, I jump back and I'm selecting all of those empties again. Uh, Shift D to duplicate, M to move, and I'm moving them to my uh, cockpit layer. And here you'll see I have uh, manipulators for the handles. And so I'm going through and I'm uh, selecting those manipulators and then selecting the empty they belong to and setting that parent so that uh, we can click on the what looks like the handle and it will open our door. So you'll see me doing that. So I'm just grabbing each one of those manipulators that I created and I'm uh, parenting them to those empties. Now you'll notice I had uh, two different layers up there and so I jumped into just my cockpit layer so that I could just make sure that I had parented them to the correct empties because it is possible that you could accidentally select the wrong one and so I just jumped here real quick to make sure that I did parent them to the correct empty that was part of that layer. And so then here you see we've jumped into the sim and you can see that uh, you can click on it and uh, our doors are working, the glass is moving and uh, everything is uh, animated and, and looks neat inside the sim.